Hey everybody, Conrader here. Welcome back to Assetto Corsa. We are going to do a V8 Supercar series. Not hosted by myself, actually hosted by Les Cubes. Going to be very similar to our last Assetto Corsa series. We're going to be starting P5 today. Yeah, P5 at Watkins Glen. Should be all Australian tracks, but apparently there's not enough Australian tracks for Assetto Corsa. So get to it, mod makers. All right. I have never launched these cars before. I have no idea what to expect and uh, qualified quite poorly compared to my pace, thanks to a lot of traffic. So we'll see what happens. Does it not let us go in at first? It does, okay. I don't know what to do here. Not bad. Not bad. Wait for the full senders in a turn one. And the tradition, my start is hot garbage. <laughs> Got Gem Knight on radio for the race. We are kind of teammates here, both in the Nissans. Alright, we got him for an NCW, which is good. I think he's going to try a pass here, though. Oh, no. No. And that happened. Alright, well, let's try and recover as much as we can. You get help? I got full sended into the bus stop. Well. He had maybe a quarter on me, I guess I should have just stopped. Now I get to play Make My Way Through the Field. Twenty minutes, ten cars, we can do this. <laughs> oh man, I forgot that the tires are going to be a little bit toasty after the spin. A little bit toasty. Oh, this is a big wreck. Oh, buddy. No, 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 no. This time I'm way, way back.
Yeah, three left. Because, you know, I don't have a... I think what I'm going to do is just, like, supercut the last race and do every pass that I made on the way back. Because <laughs> I stopped doing commentary after the second crash. <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't call it I did commentary. <laughs> it's like I pointed out some things. But hey, hey, look, there's some grass over there. I was keeping track of where you were on the track, basically, is what I was doing. <laughs> look, have fun, don't die. Yeah. Ugh, I caught the wheel spin this time. Oh, no, no, no. no. I'm just gonna hold the inside here. Isaac! Alright. I need to lean over and make sure I'm recording. I am. Don't you try it? leader, I get to take the conservative line through there. So get back to the gas too early here. Alright. Oh man, that was spicy. It is spicy, where are you? I am in fifth because Isaac gave me no room. Easy on the curves there. I think what I need to do is just focus on running clean laps until Jim gets here. As long as he gets through traffic safely, he will get here. He has more race pace than me. Try not to overdrive, especially turn one, especially the inner loop. We've had a fatality. All of the smoke in turn one from brakes. Yeah, I kept seeing it. I don't know. I don't really feel like I locked the brakes off much with this car. Or maybe just does it so subtly I don't notice that I am. This is good, there's quite a bit of room behind me. Allows me to take kind of the lazy line through there for now. I accidentally went into second, the inner loop. Ooh, was that over rev? Oh yeah. <laughs> I bet. It was very noisy. Quality Nissan Detson's gonna take it just fine. You know all those rear-wheel drive V8 Ultimas. Nice and easy. Look at that, nice and easy, and we're still in a green delta. That's the way to do it. Turn one, that's fine. All the way out here and shift when the lights blink. I don't know why I find it better to shift kind of late there compared to where the shift lights are telling me. Must be something to do with the the gradient. It's an easy through there. NCW just had a huge send. Huh. I Looks guess he glorious. learned nothing. They have gone a little wide in the penalty turn. He, he did learn something because he did let me go at the start of the race. When I caught him the second time in last race, he just <laughs> pulled over. Uh oh. I think he realized his mistake. I'm sure he did. Just those kind of incidents are so frustrating. Isaac's driving really hard back there. I keep seeing him squirm around out of the turns. Play it cool down here. One of the big differences from last race is I'm fourth gearing the inner loop rather than third gearing it. 
I think it's just a little safer. I noticed there's quite a few turns that me and Jem are in different gears in, but that's kind of the norm. Just kind of how we do. See how much differently I'm keeping the car this race versus uh, whatever clips I included of last race. Just really trying to keep it pointed straight and as little wheel spin as possible. The thing that's fun with this car is you can you can get it sideways, you can let it move around, squirm around, and still actually put in a decent lap. But if you keep doing it lap after lap, eventually the tires start to go, you know what? How about you not? I'd rather save that for later in the race. A little bit too deep there. Up on two wheels is not what you want to do. I'm not going to discredit Isaac's pace here. He's shown that he can do the nines pretty regularly. I just think Jim has a little bit more pace than either one of us. It's just a matter of how, how fast Jim catches Isaac and how quick he can get around him, I think. If I can modulate a, a second or so gap to Isaac, I'd be in good shape. That's a really nice turn one. That's what I need. That was an odd, odd little bit of understeer there. That's going to erase some of that gap. Not a big deal. I was able to lift out of it and keep it from going crazy. Did they say we we're doing fourth gear? I think they said that. Hard habits, die hard. Waiting on the gas out of the CERN, the outer loop is so critical around this track. As long as Isaac doesn't go full send here, we'll be alright. Easy out of there. Shift a little early to keep it out of max power. draft is like with these cars. Do I let them get any closer? We're going to find out, and it's not going to be fun. Much better. Much better. Unfortunately, he also got through there very well. Touch that curb. It's a slowdown when you do. I still feel like he's pushing the car harder than I am, but that's generally what you can do when you're in second place. Isaac's uh, pretty stout here. Yeah, he's doing pretty good. Pretty good. What's the draft like face like? I don't know. Probably pretty good. I was pretty safe at three tenths. run wide here. If it's going to do that, just let it run wide. You got a bad run out of there, so that's kind of saved us. And the outer loop, you can take a lot of various lines there and not lose time. A 
Easy on the exit when that happens. Vlad did not get a good run out of the last turn. Luckily he didn't either. I don't know if there was contact there or not. I don't think so. It just happened to step out right when he got it up behind me. I had the lift it's on the outside, but we will have the draft here for sure. Do I blot? No. Parking in front of him a little bit there. Kind of hard to see the right side. That mirror is so bad, too. The rear view mirror is just awful. Right, this slowed us both down significantly. This is going to put Jem right in the fight. At this point, getting Jem in the fight might be what saves me. Oh, missing this last turn is going to be the death of me. I'm surprised you saved that off the wall. Yep. was going to be so bad out there. Yeah, the curb goes off camber. It was really before the curb. It really just jumped out on me. Oh, it's so much nicer following through there. Oh, there was a dead he was back there. Oh no. I didn't even see him. He's gonna get no, he did the same thing I did. That's how I got around him in the race one. Yeah, I was worried about that. That mirror is so bad. Please no Cinderino. Jim's this up here. Was more out of the way than anybody's let us out of the way in F1. Yeah. Stay on four wheels, you stupid car. Don't lift a wheel. You can't pass B 
out of the second to last turn. It's always the last turn, so that's the one to watch out for. Really think he gets into turn one better, but maybe that's just the effect of following. You can always judge your breaking distance better when you're following somebody, I think. I don't think this is enough run for him. Much better. Much better. And if I could do that on a lap after lap basis, we'd be talking. Yeah, the exit of this turn is way more important than the entrance. Oh! Oh That's no! Stupid. Oh, why does it do that? Oh. You just touch and it shoots to the other side of the track. No, it's not Torino! Yeah, I, uh, I shit my pants when I hit it earlier. Keep it cool here. Yeah. Keep it Tim. Maybe the front straightaway would be a nice place to get this done. Oh, he's gonna run wide here. Which honestly threw me off a bit, but it's okay. It's okay. I appreciate it. We know where Isaac got us last time. So I know I need to really focus on that section more than anything. Focus on getting good launches out of the turn. At this distance, at 7 tenths, that's what's most important. Is getting out of the turn. Still quite a few laps left here. Because this track's pretty short. It would be really nice to build enough breathing room to, you know, have room to make a mistake. We don't have that yet. I think he ran a little wide there. I'm trying everything I can to keep it off that curb. I feel like his setup just handles the right hand turns a lot better than mine why that last turn is so good for him. I'm just trying to take it as easy as I can. Once I know that he's not going for a move, I'm breaking extra hard to make sure I don't overcook the turn. Alright, this may be a draft pass for him right here. He's gonna go for it yet. He's trying to pressure me to do a mistake into here, which is the smart way to do this. It's it's the way to get by without risking yourself, really. Looks like it's gonna be three to go. Locked up the left runner a little bit right there. Decent exit. Yeah, it's just barely three to go. How rude. Oh, nice exit. I guess two to go? No, three to go. Because you get an, an additional lap on the time running out. I 
jumped in a bit too much there. That's why I wanted that gap for just that kind of mistake. Get off that curb cone, you know better. I mean, he pushes out of there too, I just think I pushed a little bit more. Oh, jeez. That was so close. Oh, leader's on the final lap. That's not the way this usually works. It should be one to go. Um, well that threw me off. Quite a bit. Yeah, I guess we're not doing an additional lap. Both went full send. Oh, buddy. Think I got him. Think I got him. Oh, oh, buddy. Wow. I I thought we did an additional lap, and we didn't. It was it was last lap is the lap that your yep. time runs out. Yep. That almost screwed me big time. <laughs> this is the correct way to do uh, V8 supercar. I threw, I don't want to say hellacious blocks, but just significant defending there that last lap. Because oh, I, yeah. I mean, I just got so bamboozled by, this is the last lap. Hey, yay, yay. I'm gonna go join the Columbus chat. Okay.